Hi, I am Balaji Chipada and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In continuation of our SQL series, in this video, we are going to learn what are relational databases and why do we need them and we are also going to learn a very very important topic in SQL which is primary key and foreign key. So without any delay, let's get started. Let's say I have a table like this. Let's call it as movies table. And inside it, I have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. And in the first column, I have the movie ID. And then I have the movie title. And then the director name and the director date of birth. And to which category the movie belongs to and the release year of this movie. This is just a generated data. So you don't take any of this data as an actual data. This is for demo purpose. Now let's say I have this movie one and this movie title is Inception and the director is Christopher Nolan. And the date of birth of the director is this one and the movie is of science fiction category and released in 2010. Now in the second record, I have a new movie with a new movie ID but notice that the director is same and the date of birth is the same as well and even category is also same and the release year is different and then I have one more movie which is called The Dark Knight here even here I have the director as Christopher Nolan and then I have the same date of birth but the category name is different and the release year is different so in these three records I do have these two columns which are same that means all of these values in these two columns are duplicated let's remember that now let's go to the next record in which I have Pulp Fiction as a movie name in here I have Quentin Tarantino as the director and the date of birth of the director and it is a crime in 1994 and in the next one I have the same director and same date of birth and different category name and different release year. If you notice in these two records, I have the same director and the same director date of birth, even for the next record as well. And for the last two movies, we have the same, same director and same date of birth. Even though we have so many different movies in the table, so let's assume in total, let's say you have 100,000 records. And out of which, Let's say there are only 200 directors and their date of births. That means in all of your 100,000 records, you have the information of any one of the directors and the date of birth for them, right? So if I have 1 lakh records, let's say, I might be duplicating my director details a lot of times in my table, right? So what are the problems causing here? I have more data duplication because I am duplicating my data a lot of times. I need more storage to save my table and every time you are repeating you are creating more data and you are confusing yourselves. And the idea is to solve this by splitting this table into multiple tables. Let's say the whole table we call it as T. And we want to split this table into table 1, table 2, table 3 and table 4 something like that. So we want to split this table into multiple tables such that we will somehow avoid the data duplication problem. Hopefully that is clear. And once we split these tables, what we make sure is there is a relation between all of these tables. I will explain what this relation is, how you can split these tables. So instead of having a one single big table, you are splitting this into multiple smaller tables such that you are encapsulating the whole information inside of these tables and having a relation between all of these tables, right? So this is what we call it as a relational databases or relational tables. So we want to avoid these problems, data duplication, more storage, data confusion. So how do you do it? Now let's understand with the example. So if you look at here, I have divided our primary table into four different tables which are named movies, directors, categories and movie categories. I will explain why I did it and what is the use of this one. So if you look at the first table movies, I have movies ID, we will talk about PK in a bit and we have movie title, we have director ID, 
and we will talk about fk also in a bit and we have the release here and if you look at the data of this table there is no duplication i mean there is some duplication but it is not as much as we have in the before table right and we have all the different movies and we have all the release years so in this table we have removed the information of director name and director's date of birth and we also removed the information of category name as well so if i remove this information from movies table how am i able to get that because i don't want to lose the information right so that is why i created another table called directors in which we have director id so it can take one two three it could be any name and we have director name and we have director date of birth so here i am only storing my director info only once so for each director i have only one record i am not duplicating my director name or director date of birth multiple times so if i have 200 directors in total i will only have 200 records in this table and then we have categories table in which i have different category ids and for all of these categories i have given the sex particular category name as well so if you see even here i am not repeating my category name multiple times if if there are only 50 categories in total i will only have 50 records in this table and then i have movies category in which i have movie id and category id we will understand this by linking it all of them right now now let's understand what is present inside this data how you can link all of these things now let's take the example the first record in movies table so here i'm saying movie id as one and i have the value as inception and here i am saying director id as one so if my director id is one i will go and check in my director's table who is the director name in which director id is one if you look at this one so i am going to match this director id with the director id inside my director's table so i can say that i have movie id one and the name is inception and the director of that movie is christopher nolan and the director date of birth is 1970 07 and 30. so we got the information of director now let's pull out the information of category name as well so if you see i have movie id here so in this table i have movie id column so i have one value here so i have one here and according to that i have category id as one so i will go and check in my categories table what is the category id one so my name is science fiction okay so i can get to the conclusion that if my movie id is one the movie title is inception and the director is christopher nolan and date of birth of that director and the category name is science fiction see i have pulled out all the information regarding the movie id which is one even though i do have the data in multiple tables here what we did is initially in the first slide we have seen the table right t let's assume like that we split this table into multiple smaller tables t1 t2 t3 and t4 we will call it as t1 t2 t3 and t4 and in all of these tables we have the information available and we have also made sure that all of these tables can be linked each other using some of the columns it could be any column but there is a link available right so by using all of these links we can get the data which is present inside our main table initially so by doing this we have reduced the data duplication and we have made the data very clear to understand as well hopefully that is clear now let's give some names to all of these keys so if you see the first table movies so if you see this column here every movie title is having a separate or unique movie id so we call it as a primary key and it cannot be null it cannot be a null value this is the first rule i will talk about rules in a bit but first let's understand what is a primary key and what is an foreign key and if you see the director's table so this director id is unique to all of these records okay so this is called primary key to this table directors and here if you see categories table i have category id 
and it is of having unique values there is no repetition and category id is a primary key to the table categories and if you see here movie categories i can have duplication of movie id if you look at this category id i do have the duplication i have two here i have two here i have five here i have five here but if you look at it carefully if i look at both of these columns together one one two one three two four three so likewise if i combine these two columns so combinedly these two will become my unique pair so there is no duplicates when you combine both of them so in this table we can say movie id and category id are both combinedly called as primary key so there is another name with to this which is called a composite primary key as well so to the key movie id you are adding one more category id column to make it as a primary key so this is what we call it as a composite key so primary key is basically a unique identifier in all of your tables it could be of single column or multiple columns together now let's understand the importance of foreign key so if you look at that column in the movies table movie id it's a primary key right but we do have the same values inside this movies category so whatever the values you have here it is present inside this column as well so this column from movies category is called foreign key to this movies table so let me rephrase it again so movies id column inside movies table is a primary key to the table but movie id column inside movies category will be acting as a foreign key to the movies table because whatever the values you have inside this table is actually present inside your main movies table so it is acting as a foreign key to this table okay and if you look at this one category id initially category id is primary key here in the categories table but the whatever the values we have inside this movies category category id column these are already present inside this so we can call this column as a foreign key to categories table and if you see directors so this director id is a primary key but in the movies table we have a director id as well so this will be acting as foreign key to the director's table because a foreign key can have reputations but a primary key cannot have repeated values hopefully you understand the difference between a primary key and a foreign key now let's understand the rules for primary key and foreign key so a primary key is basically a column or a set of columns used to uniquely identify each row in a table and it cannot contain null values if i talk about foreign key a column or set of columns in a table that references the primary key column to another table as i mentioned foreign key is a key that is a reference to the primary key of any other table and it can contain null values and it can contain multiple duplicated values as well and primary key must be always unique and foreign key does not need to be a unique value and the purpose of primary key is to ensure each record is uniquely identified within the table and the foreign key is basically there to link data between two different tables hopefully that is clear and each table can only have one primary key but you can combine any other key to make it as a composite key hopefully that is also clear so as we learned this splitting of one big table into multiple small tables t1 t2 t3 t4 to avoid data duplication and data redundancy this concept is also called data normalization in the next video we will understand all the rules of data normalization this is also a really important topic inside sql and that's all for this video guys in this video we have covered what is a relational chip database and why do we need to split the main table into multiple smaller chunks to avoid data duplication to avoid more storage to avoid faster efficient performances on top of each small tables and we have also learned about the difference between a primary key and a foreign key in the next video we will be learning about data normalization 
there are some rules and regulations for data normalization so we will be understanding all of those so if you are liking what you are watching please do subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified daily and we will meet in the next video peace out